Good morning, everybody. Today we're going to be doing something kind of interesting, which you probably know if you've read the title, but if you somehow click the video without reading the title, I think I've made this joke before, then I better tell you, eh? Today we're going to be doing something called voice feminization, which is going to turn my voice from a deep, deep manly voice, which again seems to be working less and less by the day, because I have been practicing a bit and it'll turn it into a more feminine sounding voice. Not that I don't like my voice, like, it's a good voice, 10 out of 10, would use again, would definitely sneak up behind somebody and say boo, just to scare them again. I've got a little example guide thing over here, what do you call that? Tutorial. I have a tutorial, that's what it's called. I have that open over here, and I'm going to be following along with the instructions, doing some exercises, and hopefully, by the end of this, I will have some ideas for what I'm doing. Keep in mind, before I start, because I'm going to be very, very nervous, and it's going to be very, very bad to start off, this is a process that can take people years to perfect. And this is day, like, five for me. Because I've been practicing a bit on my own, but the key is confidence. And today, for some odd reason, I feel confident. And so I decided to flip on a camera. I'm going to take you guys along this little journey with me. Considering I've downloaded Crossy Road and The Escapists onto my tablet, I don't really have a whole lot of recording time. So I'm going to stop talking, just going to shut myself up real quick. And I'm going to get to the video. The video, so I can make my video. If that makes sense. I love how the legend's just going everywhere. Okay, I'm going to stop there. Stop rambling. Okay, just get right to it. Okay, so here's what I understand so far. First off, my sleeve is rolling up a little bit, and I don't want that. Second off, this, uh, the Adam's apple here is part of something called the larynx, which goes back, it's a whole thing back here, which connects somehow back here. And it appears to be the Adam's apple that goes from like here, and then it goes up to your mouth, and then either goes, either it is your mouth, or it's going around and above your mouth like to your, to the bottom of your nose here. And you know what? I didn't do this last time because I didn't want to because I was feeling lazy. I might just put a screenshot up on screen of the video that I'm watching right now because this is hard to explain. Anyway, I'm going to be experimenting with different sounds, trying to get this thing raised. So to start off, we're going to try and perfect our resonance because that's the key thing. They call it the gender knob, because it it's generally what people hear before they decide whether, oh, this sounds like a boy, or oh, this sounds like a girl. So let me just try that. Try working the different muscles, seeing what sounds I can create, using a mantra. And if you don't know what a mantra is, it's basically a phrase I'm going to say over and over so I can hear progress and changes, and kind of just so... Well, basically, all it's going to do for you is be annoying. But for me, it's going to be very helpful and informational. So, whoop de doo Let's start by going from a whisper to making a sound. Which basically means I'm going to go like... <sighs> doing my deepest possible sound without any of my boom behind it. Any of the voice that makes you feel worse. Basically, just... They call it a dry noise. It's basically where you talk without going like this. So the sound you're going to hear is much quieter, much more like, Hi, hello. Almost like a ghostly whisper, if that makes sense. Go from no sound to sound, which you might be able to hear, might not. So from, uh, See, that's actually, I believe they call that a thin sound, where there's a smooth transition between the two, like, uh, but if it was a thick sound, it'd go, uh, and it would just be very blunt, very, uh, ah, uh, oh, uh, ah, uh, oh, I woke somebody up, give me one moment. All right, sorry about the cut off. I may have, I may, may have accidentally woke up my little brother with the deep, intense, bellow booming of my voice. 
Let's go to the exercise. We'll start with a whisper going like, oh. I'm going to go. Oh. And then I'm going to try and turn that oh. into sound like. Oh. Heat from fire, fire from heat. Heat from fire, fire from heat. Jesus Christ, I'm gonna get beat. I kicked a kid and he went deep. <laughs> okay, that's not working exactly as I planned, but it's working closer to what I wanted, if that makes sense. Does that make sense? I don't know. Anyway, now I am kind of feeling nervous, so I'm going to end the video there. But I am going to start videos on other days, if that makes sense. Good. I don't know what I'm saying anymore. I'm kind of mildly panicking, and I feel my voice going back now. Yeah, it's kind of going back. Whatever. You know what? Good way to end this off. I'm going to try and do my outro in the voice. And if it goes well, it goes well. If it doesn't go well, it doesn't go well. And then I can keep practicing on another day when my confidence is back and boosted, aka tomorrow, because I'm always confident in the morning, or after a good cup of coffee. So if I ever open a coffee shop, come see me, because I've got confident coffee. Oh yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked it, then I really hope to see you in the next video. Have a good day, and I'll see you later.